what brings you here to Palm Coast Open Mic? Well, you know, uh, I've obviously heard about this place. Uh, it's been a lot of movies. You know, I just wanted to come down here and check out some talent tonight and, uh, you know, see what's happening. What, what do you guys got? What's going on here? All right, let's, let's get it going. Move. Palm Coast, yo. I heard it's dope, man. What, what else can I say, man? Blaze, bla 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 blaze, blazing hot, son. Blazing hot. Hey, listen, you want to know where the talent is popping off at? It's at Palm Coast. I tell you what, open mic night. Paul Testaverde, you sound like you're a prolific uh, fellow. What do you do out there in L.A. and what brings you to uh, Palm Coast? I uh, produce music mostly. Uh, I shoot some films, short films, and uh, I just came uh, to the area here looking to scout some talent. You know, I'm always looking for the next big thing. And uh, would you would you hear good things about uh, open mic night? Would you hear about it? Oh, I just heard this is the place to be, especially on Monday nights. Uh, that's why I'm so glad that we're doing this special Saturday night open mic award night. I can't wait to see uh, what we got in store tonight. Anthony, baby, let me tell you, it is cooking here. It is happening, son. Let me tell you what. Everything here, it, it's just tremendous, stupendous, superb. I, I can't I can't put it into words. I don't know what it is. There's a certain vibe to this place. Um, it's just very special. As you know, Anthony, I have my finger on the pulse of what's hot, you know, what's cooking. And uh, what I see here tonight is only stuff that's cooking with gasoline. Now, you have a very lengthy roster of artists that you've found, discovered, made them huge. What other acts have you found recently that are on fire right now? Mm. Well, Anthony, um, I'm... Very happy you asked me about that. I've been working with a girl group out of Siberia that's very, very hot. You know, they're going to heat up Siberia. I think they're going to melt those uh, that permafrost up there real soon. Tell me more. Tell me, what, what's it like to be in your shoes? Basically, Anthony, I just try to surround myself with talented people, uh, just people that are popping, pop, 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 popping, that are fresh. You know what I mean? Uh, people that will make you want to pull over on the side of the road and just keep listening to that joint before you make, make it to your yoga class. Like, you will be late to your yoga class to listen to that joint there. You know, people wanna wanna ask me, you know, what it's like to be a big time producer in Hollywood. And I tell them, you know, like you couldn't afford my Starbucks habit. You know what I mean? I'm pounding these venties all day, trying to make it to my next business meeting, trying to sign my next client just to keep up with the Joneses here. You know what I mean? What can you say? Welcome everybody to the Mikey's at Palm Coast Coffee. It's time to get fresh, y'all. Tricky, have you ever been to the open mic night at Palm Coast? I like to hang out in the rafters so nobody can really see me. I'm up there with, like, the rats and the pigeons. I like to drop a line every once in a while, go on around, you know, 1 a.m. after everybody is gone. I hate the paparazzi and all the fandom that I attract, so there's some real talent there, you know, to try to pick out the talent. And uh, it's a real good time, you know. My main man, Anthony, he runs a good gig, you know, he runs a good show. We go way back. My life is incomplete in a way. You know, the real thing that inspires me, it doesn't matter where I'm at. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, Anthony, it's the ladies. Oh, well, well, we're getting uh, intimate here, aren't we? I really just wanna curl up into a fetal position and uh, be held by my mom. You know, she neglected me a lot as a child. So this is just, this whole performance, it's a, it's a coping mechanism of sorts to just really uh, get past that. Most recently, there's a young man working behind the bar at Palm Coast Open Mic Nights by the name of Patrick. Oh, yeah. Are you familiar with him? Do you have any words to say about Patrick the bartender? Oh, yeah, that bloke. Oh, well, you know, he, he's quite rude to me, and he hurts my feelings. He, he pours a weak drink, and, you know, he really just brushes me off half the time. I, I think it's because maybe my dreads smell bad or something. I, I really can't stand the guy as of now. I asked him what the drink special is, and he says, well, I got just the thing for you, Tricky. It's called the Magic Johnson. It gave me a sour stomach, worse than like a, a, a sour fish and chips. There's a, always a line in the bathroom, and I had to I had to go out back behind Mullet Bay's dumpster. I'm really quite ashamed of it. My main mode of transportation is a Razor scooter. You know, I got a flat tire on it lately. So I've been having to bomb rides from my mum. Uh, it's a rainy day and I don't feel like riding my razor to the studio. And I said, mum, uh, can I bomb a ride to the studio from you? She said, yeah, Tricky. Uh, yeah, hop in the van. You know, my mom calls me Tricky. It's what she named me at birth. Here we are in my mum's van and we're on the way to the studio, right? Uh, you know, the van comes to a stop. Here we are at a bloody great clips. And I'm like, hey, mom, uh, the studio ain't inside of great clips. And she says, Tricky, uh, today's the day you cut them bloody dreads off. I said, well, mom, toodaloo.
My name's Savannah Brunswick Oglethorpe. You can call me Brunny or whatever. You look kind of preoccupied there on your phone. What are you, are you texting somebody? Uh, yeah, hang on. This is so funny. What brings you here tonight, Brunny? So there's like this open mic or whatever, and it's pretty cool. The guy that hosts it is like so cute. Oh, you got a crush on the host of open mic? I mean, it's whatever. So I go to open mic and I drink just whatever's like basically on the table. And then Wait, hold on. You drink table booze. It's, we're, we're just crazy. Me and my friends, we go to open mic. It's every Monday. So it's great because I go to yoga and then I go to goat yoga and then I go to a small dog yoga, I guess you'd call it. You say you come to open mic night, but I've never really seen you there. Uh, do you ever leave the bar area or do you just hang out in the bar? Yeah, I hang out like sort of in the bar. It's sort of like, you know where the doorway is? I like to totally stand in the doorway. It's so random, but. You got anything on the agenda tonight? You seem like kind of a socialite. I mean, I hang out and I like to show p people that I hang out places. So basically I go and I take a picture and they go up all over like, whew. And like everybody knows that I do cool things. You don't even have to see me there because I'm there in photographs. So if I want to know you're at open mic night, I should just check your social media feeds? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you want to know if somebody went somewhere, don't go there when the thing's happening. Look on their Instagram pages, their Twitters. There's a thing called um, Ch Chumpy. That's a great new app. It's for hanging out with um, mostly chumps and also chipmunks. A lot of uh, chimpanzees. You wouldn't think hanging out with like some random chipmunk is fun, but let me tell you, it's a blast. So everyone's going to Murphy's. Um, I'll see you there. Okay, later. I don't know where I'd be without my man Steve here. Probably still, you know, like turning tricks behind the local pub, you know, trying to get scrounge up some change for some studio time, you know, but we're, we're way past that now. Uh, I seem to recall uh, we were filming scenes for Raiders of the Lost Ark in uh, 1980 oh, on a soundstage in London, and uh, I believe Tricky uh, Studio was just down the street. He wanted to, to show me his music. Uh, he was, I could tell just even back then, he was going to be a major, major sensation. What was it called, like mercury poisoning? I ate a lot of fish and chips, you know, I yeah, pretty, right. much, right. I pretty much, much lived off of it. See, I really looked at it as a, like an open door policy. You know, the door was cracked open slightly. So I, obviously I heard Spielberg was in town. He's definitely the one who would be scouting for the next rap artist in uh, South London. Uh, I'm always, always thinking of new creative ways to, uh, you know, make my films better with music. I mean, let's face it, John Williams just isn't cutting it uh, anymore. <laughs> We're uh, moving forward to the future here with uh, Tricky Sanchez. If we could kind of keep this on the wraps, uh, he's the man who smuggled me over to, you know, uh, Sea Island over here. I'm quite comfortable. You know, Steve, I really think the uh, flat bill look is suiting you quite right. Steve. Has Open Mic Night inspired any of your films, Steven? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Um, the Goonies uh, was directly inspired by uh, Open Mic Night. Inspiration can strike uh, at any moment. There's, there's been plenty of times where I've had a, eure a eureka moment. I thought you were about to say a urethra moment. You know, my latest single, Live from Rafter's Alleyway, uh, you know, it's a smash hit, and I couldn't have done it without open mic. Have you heard of the Cath of the Cowboy? I have. I do have some experience with the Cath as well from all my hospital visits. Uh, in 1981, when I was filming Raiders of the Lost Ark, I was uh, on the verge of exhaustion in Tunisia. Yeah, you really got to keep some Ritz peanut butter crackers on you at all times. One of my more well-known films, uh, Rush Hour 2, was directly inspired by uh, a night at open mic night. You know, one night I saw two guys performing, one was Asian and one was black, and I just thought uh, this would make a great buddy cop comedy. Steven, what's your favorite scene in Rush Hour 2? The karaoke scene in Hong Kong is absolutely massive, uh, and I just wanted to pay a little bit of tribute to the Hong Kong karaoke scene as well as, um, you know, showcase a little bit of... Uh, our actors' talents in the film. Yeah, I really think, uh, you know, Chris Tucker, He's he's got quite some pipes on him. I, I'm surprised that didn't launch off a whole uh, solo singing career for him. He and I need to sit down and maybe do uh, a side project. He's a man of many talents. He hasn't been seen in years.
Thank you for taking the time to talk to us tonight. Why don't you start with an introduction? Who are you? I'm the spirit of Open Mike's past. What are you going to tell us tonight? Do you have any uh, wisdom that we've forgotten? Anything, anything from the past that needs to be remembered? There are many performers who are fondly remembered, and some who are not fondly remembered. Many years passed. A performer would appear every Monday, silver hair and the darkest of trousers. This performer would inevitably play the same song every Monday, to which he received tepid applause at best. This peculiar performer has ceased to appear at open mic night in recent years, having been banished after many failed attempts to lure young women to his cave. He retreated to another realm, where I am told he was rejected from a bard's college. Thanks for coming to be with us tonight. I don't know where you came from. You said you're the spirit of Open Mike's past. Why don't you take a second just to greet and give a warm welcome to the people here, uh, the participants here at Open Mic Night, Awards Night. Welcome to the Open Mic Awards Night. Everyone, please have a good time. My name's uh, Eloise Blunderbuss, and um, I work for a very prominent label. Basically, what I'm responsible for is uh, finding that new talent, that raw edge, you know, because I can define the undefinable. St. Simon's Island has like, it has like the air of, of mystery, of magic. A lot of artists that are just so buried deep, deep in their in their hurt, in their pain, in their passion. And I find that pain and I bring it to the world. Geez, sounds like you've got a real busy job. Have you worked with any popular artists that uh, we've heard of in the past? Uh, well, let's see. Have you ever heard of anyone called Bruce Ringstein? Did you say Bruce Springsteen? No, I did not. Bruce Ringstein, very passionate fellow. Who else? Do you have any other artists you've worked with that we may have heard of? Um, well, have you heard of the Ramones? Sure, yeah. Everybody's heard of the Ramones. They're a very famous punk rock band. They're great. Not those. Um, these are the Ramones, like M-O-A-N-S. The, the Ramones. I can't say I've ever heard of them. Uh, should I have? Uh, yeah. Everything has its time. And my job is to find that time for that everything. See what I'm saying? Uh, where do you live currently? Have you ever been in a yurt? So I've got a few yurts all over the world that I like to divide my time in. And then I like to um, go to open mic at Palm Coast and find talent for the world. Do you really think Palm Coast has talent for the world? Have you found any there? Uh, yeah. Time is non-linear. Great. Would you like to say a few words to our guests tonight at the Palm Coast Open Mic Awards night? Let me tell you, you are in for such a fantastic episode of entertainment and expressionism to the point where you feel like your own emotions are being expressed for you through someone else. And that's what you're in for this evening. This has been fantastic. Murph, was that your name, Murph? Murph McDurf, brah. You might have heard of me. Parmesan Accident Tour 2001. Tell me, Murph, where, where are you from? Yeah, I'm basically not allowed back in Ohio. Oh, I just collect the tapes, brah, man. They're good currency on the road, man. You, you know, the reason I got conjunctivitis from a Hot Pocket is just because, like, I didn't have fresh food. You know, they made me a good lot grilled cheese. The performances are hot, but yeah, 471 tapes. I listen to them all the time. What do you look for in a performance these days? What, man? I, ugh, you don't have to look for anything, man. Palm Coast Open Mic, it finds you, bro. Is that why you wear sunglasses all day? Yeah, because the future's too bright up here, man. It's all these killer acts. All this f***ing killer grilled cheese, 
all these fucking diseased hot pockets. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, man. There's always just new acts coming and going, man. They're all just the best, dude. Like it's like once you get in the zone, you get a little swilly off some wine. Just watch the acts and you feel yourself in the moment, and maybe just like you know get a less diseased hot pocket. You know what I'm talking about. And you mentioned something about your van breaking down. There's been a van parked out back for a number of years. You're not living in there, are you? Yeah, but my probation officer says it's kind of like a permanent residence. Sometimes I'll just, you know, shower in the runoff from Parker's roof. It's cool. But I'm not peeping in windows. Strike that from the record, man. My probation officer might be here. Hey, Murph, why don't you give everybody here at Palm Coast a warm welcome? Yeah, welcome to Palm Coast Open Mikey Awards, bro. We're getting crazy on it. You know, I just want to say thanks for coming out. Enjoy it. I'm glad. It's been a great 10 years. If anyone knows how to fix a van, that'd be cool, because I kind of like to get out of here tonight. Parmesan accident. They're playing in Tucson at 6.30 in the morning, man. Don't tell my probation officer, though. But y'all enjoy your night. I'll see y'all on the outside. Calvin Clay Gibbons. That's my name, don't wear it out. The story I like to reveal, starving artist, very fashionable. I like to wear scarves, but I don't like to, you know, I don't like it when I have to wear a scarf. Grew up in a high society. My mom, she, she neglected me. I really wanted to get an IC and a hot dog. Um, and I heard there was a nice uh, hot dog place uh, down by the Pier Village. I wrapped up in uh, my mink coat um, and I got on my Vespa and I rode down to the pier. I, my eyes wander. I heard this music and you know, um, that's my second passion is music. Uh, Celine Dion, my favorite artist. I heard this uh, booming bass and uh, I stumbled by a young lady with a turntable. Pankos Open Mic really has uh, what I like to call awesome sauce. And they've got so much of it, it's just, you know, spilling out the top and just like blasting in your face. I've lost my train of thought. It's Can you say- from all the times I was dropped on my head as a child. My mom drank uh, champagne for breakfast every morning. I've got nothing but well wishes for everybody, especially uh, those great patrons of Palm Coast and the Monday night open mic. You've been keeping it going strong for 10 years straight, and you have your fans to thank. And of course, your hard work, Anthony. We couldn't have done it without you. But what are you doing with your finger?